Hi there, welcome to Google Cloud Next. Today we're going to be talking about augmented analytics at Looker and how natural language querying and other advanced analytics can help you answer your business questions. My name is Desiree Sunier and I'm a product manager at Looker Google Cloud. Today, we're going to be talking about augmented analytics at Looker, both generally and specifically machine learning, key driver analysis, and natural language querying. Augmented analytics at Looker is really at the heart of leveraging Google technologies that we know and love, like AI, ML, natural language, and search. We know that the amount of data businesses rely on is growing exponentially. So the ability to answer timely questions of your data is more critical than ever. Some of the customer challenges we're investigating are one, data analysts wanna make quick, reliable predictions. How can we unlock machine learning capabilities directly in their BI tools? Two, business stakeholders wanna understand how their top KPIs are changing. How can they uncover hidden insights to better monitor those key metrics and really understand what's driving change? And three, we know analysts are overwhelmed by inquiry requests. How can business users, maybe those less technical folks, get answers quickly through natural language queries? EQML, also known as BigQuery Machine Learning, is available today in BigQuery. We're investigating ways on how to surface this in Looker Studio. If you haven't heard yet, Data Studio has been renamed Looker Studio. We know that data scientists and analysts rely on BQML to create and run prediction models to make better business decisions. Looker Studio is bringing that power to BI reporting, extending predictive capabilities to business users. Three key features here are being able to explore results via new visualizations, the execution of machine learning directly in the warehouse, no export needed, and three, supporting common prediction models such as forecasting, classification, clustering, recommendations. Key driver analysis is really helping um, business, stakeholders, business stakeholders understand the why to their questions. We're able to take an underlying Google technology and help you understand the key drivers of change. We know that users wanna understand those changes and undercover what's going on. So with the ability to query multiple, query multiple variables over time, a user can then understand what, what caused the change. So what we'll be doing is surfacing the top relevant drivers of a change. Um, we can do this through a multivariable analysis um, across a data cube. And if you've never heard of a data cube, you can sort of think of it as like a three-dimensional um, time-based uh, data set that we can crawl with our um, underlying technology. And we can explore several layers deep with the scope, bespoke controls and other features. And finally, ask Looker. We're surfacing natural language querying abilities in Looker Studio, again, previously known as Data Studio. Here, business users are always looking for simple, non-technical ways to get reliable information. And Looker Studio's new interface will allow them to ask ad hoc questions and answers, which will in turn free up your analyst time. We're able to leverage Google's search and language research and technology. We're able to query across multiple data sources. Um, we'll have suggestions, auto completions, programmatic visualizations, and more. And we'll also be able to leverage the Looker data model through the Looker Studio connector. For more information on that, you can check out Andrew Becker's session on the, on the connector. Here we have a products report that has a few different data sources in it. We have an order items table from BigQuery. We have a products table from BigQuery. And we have a Looker data set that has been joined in Looker and pulled over here and connected through the new Looker connector. If I came to this report and I wasn't really familiar what, with the data in it, I could start asking some questions. Today, I'm gonna ask questions about the products, the products um, table here. So let's go ahead and start with something simple. If I, if I wasn't familiar, I could just say, how many products are there? And pretty quickly, I see that I have 29,000 rows of, um, of uh, 
products in this table. So maybe I want to understand more about brands. I see that there's a brand field here and I get some results back. So 20, about 2,700 brands in this data set. Um, let's go ahead and ask something a little more interesting. Um, maybe what are the top brands? Um, and I see that there's a retail price field. So let's say, what are the top brands by retail price? Okay, so here I get a top 10 of brands by retail price. So I see Calvin Klein, Diesel, True Religion. And if I scan the data, I can see a fair bit of information here. If I saw something maybe I wanted to sort of double click into, I could ask another question like, um, let's see, what's the average retail price? Again. Okay, and here I can see in the average of retail price across the rows for brand Ray-Ban is about 117 dollars um and if i wanted to compare that to columbia maybe those those two values look interesting to me i can say what's the average retail columbia okay and so here we get average retail price across rows for columbia and 68 dollars. so that's interesting so the average retail price across these two are actually fairly different and maybe i want to understand more about what's going on between these types of so these types of brands so maybe the type of category that they fall under so columbia would be probably outerwear and ray-bans would probably fall into accessories so maybe i want to start asking some questions about categories like what are the top categories Okay, so here I can see outerwear is actually the top across all retail price. So if you add up all retail pricing, you get outerwear on top, jeans, sweaters, and you can see all the way through. And you don't actually see accessories here, but I'm actually curious about the average retail price across all those sales. So let's go ahead and look at, let's, what are the top category and by average retail price? Gotcha. So this is interesting. So here I can see that the, the top categories by average retail price. So if you average all those values, dresses, swimwear are on top, and you can see accessories actually get pulled up, but outerwear is actually below. So it's pretty interesting information you can get right away just with some quick questions in, in natural language. Thanks so much for watching the demo. As we build up more functionality, you're going to see things like auto suggestions, drag and drop capabilities more visualizations, and even the ability to ask questions on that looker model data that we saw. And we'll end here with one quote, Google Cloud is making a long-term play at democratizing data insights for non-technical users. This self-service model will not only speed up the pace of innovation and digital transformation for businesses, but also help optimize overhead costs by saving valuable time and increasing productivity of BI teams. Thanks, Mike. We appreciate the, the ability to quote here. So stay tuned for more information on Ask Looker in Looker Studio availability in Q1 2023. If you're interested, go ahead and click here and let us know in the form and we'll, we'll get back to you. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of Google Cloud Next.